Hello friends and hi. So in an episode of Shade Corner, we talked about drugs. And I noticed a lot of people were in their feelings. They were in the comments because they were upset at how vocal I was about drugs in general and how I don't mind them and I like them. And I just want to say to these people that were so bothered and so hurt and so disappointed by my actions. So I like to believe most people know about 420, but for those who don't, 420 is a phrase that refers to the smoking of marijuana. And April 20th, or 4, you know, slash 20, is a day celebrated by doing exactly that. A lot of people think the term comes from an old police code, or for some reason from the fact that Hitler's birthday is April 20th, but as a big fan of the holiday, I know the real history. The term comes from a group of students who used to go and smoke and look for wild weed to gather after practice at school at 4.20 p.m. They started using the term 4.20 to refer to their after-school activities and to getting high. So some of the kids in the group had access to the popular, well popular if you are white, band, The Grateful Dead, and some of the members caught on to the term too. So the members started using it while touring all over and just like that, wah, it spread. And so 4.20 was born. However, what some people don't realize is that April isn't just for, you know, that type of green. April is also when Earth Day is, which is a day to show, support, and encourage environmental protection. And people often end up expanding it to Earth Week, with 420 often falling in that week, because, I mean, it's also a green day, so, I mean, I get it. Which is the only reason why I even know what Earth Week is. So, now, when it comes to going green and protecting the environment, a lot of people in Nigeria could give less of a which makes sense because our government already gives us enough stress without us now adding the environment to our worries. But I mean, if we sit down and think about it, we kind of live on this earth too, so we really should at least be talking about it more. Plus, if we don't go green and the abroad should spoil now and freeze over, then where the hell will we jack back to when we are tired of this place? So, you know, think of, think of, don't just think of here, think of the whole world. So in order to do my part in helping save the world and to make myself feel better for hating paper straws the way I do, the topic of the day is things Nigerians can do to go green. Thing one, use more organic products. To be honest, when I used to hear the term organic, I used to think of rich white women. Goni Kardashian, Gwyneth Paltrow and her goop. Or I would think of like random lucky wives I've heard use the term in supermarket. Knowing full well that they don't really know exactly what it means, so they are just there shouting organic. But the thing is, organic life is legit the way forward. By eating organic food and not using organic products, you're helping the environment because organic food requires no pesticides and funny chemicals that seep into the soil and the ocean. And organic products use a lot of funny materials like aluminum and petroleum, which we could be using for more useful things than, I don't know, face cream. But not only are you giving us poison ivy vibes saving the world, but you're also enjoying the crazy benefits of organic life when you use organic things. Because natural stuff is just so much better for your body. Organic food helps your insides, your skin, your hair, organs I can't even name. And organic products keep you looking nice and sweet and don't give you funny skin diseases like cancer. It's a win-win! As it is, Nigerians are already a pretty organic people with our food and our ingredients. So since you're already halfway there with other products in your life, you might as well just try and keep it all as natural as possible. Thing two, learn about energy efficiency. If organic made me think of white people, then the term energy efficiency made me think of all those eco-warriors who are always, those people that have this kind of hair, but their own is natural, it's just scattered and they are angry. And they're always shouting about metal straws and the ozone layer and blah, blah, blah. They are the ones that if you leave a light switch on, they will shout at you from now to tomorrow. But the thing is, the things they shout about, it makes sense. Little things like turning off your sockets and lights if you are not using them is important for both saving energy and reducing your carbon footprint, which I'll get to in a bit in this day. Plus, it's good for both the environment and your electricity bill. So just basically, try not to use electric devices unless you have to, try not to use water unless you have to, and just be more efficient with the energy. If not for your environment, then at least for your bank accounts, because these things also make mad economic sense. Stay woke. Thing three, recycling. Recycling is a simple concept. You take trash and you turn it into a new useful product. Doing it is slightly less simple because it means you have to sort through your trash, but honestly, taking a few extra seconds or minutes when throwing things away will not kill you. What will kill you is the ozone layer. So yes, you can do it. You see, recycling is a great something. It gets rid of trash that would otherwise just occupy space, drown fish or kill animals and be smelling up and down. 
it lets us save raw materials by just reusing instead of creating things from scratch which also saves crazy energy and by recycling you are literally creating jobs either for big companies for those guys with wheelbarrows who gather plastic so so through your trash guys it's nothing but good and it takes two seconds don't be lazy thing four use less fossil fuel so I'm not a scientist, so forgive my explanation, but from what I've gathered, too much carbon dioxide in the environment is f***ing with the ozone layer. And apparently, once that baby is gone, we are all finished. Again, I'm not a scientist, but I shall understood that this is bad. Us having no ozone layer and being finished is bad. And so to make sure the sun doesn't fry us or something like that, we have to do what we can to reduce how much carbon dioxide we create, or rather, our carbon footprint. So recycling and being energy efficient reduce that footprint, but so does using as little fossil fuel as we can. And in a country like Nigeria, where everyone has their generators running from morning to night, and we burn things outside on a daily basis without a care in the world, it can feel like we're kind of finished in this regard, but no, there's, there's hope. Honestly, every little helps, just it's little things. Cars, for example, produce a lot of air pollutants. So by simply walking more, you are saving the world. Again, that's hard to do because we're in Nigeria and it's hot and it's no sidewalk. But little things like biking when you can or getting a ride instead of driving yourself can help. So just make a conscious effort to think, do I really need to burn this fossil fuel right now and move accordingly? Thing five, use reusable or biodegradable bags. So little plastic bags seem like such a harmless little thing, but according to eco-experts, plastic is pretty much the devil. Not little Nazi devil, like the actual devil. The thing takes ages to break down, sometimes as long as 1,000 years. So they can literally just be there, polluting streets, oceans, rivers, gutters, everywhere for 1,000 years. So a simple yet super helpful way to be environmentally friendly is to reuse. You can get those reusable bags that you can just keep at home or even just keep reusing and repurposing your plastic ones. The key thing is just not throw the plastic away when you have it. And if you really can't stand reusing and hate keeping things around the house, then try to use paper bags instead. They are biodegradable, which basically means they actually decompose instead of just sitting around for 1,000 years being trash. A reusable bag or a paper one not only make better sense for the environment, but they are also far superior for like actually carrying things. Do you know how many plastic bags have ripped and my alcohol has fallen on the floor and broken? But this will not happen with a reusable bag, so you know, again, it just makes sense. So the issue with a lot of these things for a lot of people, including my single producer Chidima, is money. Now, organic stuff, they cost pass. We know that. Ordinary face cream will be 3,000 naira, but organic one will be 30,000 naira. So I get if parts of this green life are not for you. I get it, children might do. But there's always ways to make it work. Instead of buying that expensive organic shampoo, maybe just mix your own at home. Figure out things you can recycle and use for yourself. DIY is your friend, basically. And the internet, too, is also your friend. So go on and see what you can do. The planet is all our own, so like maintain your house if you can. Plus, you have to admit, going green just it makes sense for life. It actually makes sense. Organic is good for your body and your, you know, spirit. Energy efficiency and using less fossil fuel is good for your bank account. And reusing bags, if you buy the right bag, can be a fashion statement. So there's not that many cons here, guys. Just try and go a little green. It makes sense. And now it's time for us. This is part of the show where you people ask me all your questions about life, about society, about dollars. Sadly, there's not enough questions about dollars. First of all, well done for coming out of the closet. Yay! Um, it's hard. It is really hard. I, I don't know your relationship with your parents and your friends, but if you genuinely feel like they won't accept you, okay, but you never know. I always encourage people to kind of tell people their sexuality and see. I don't really think you need to tell your parents unless you're like in a serious state. So maybe like years from now, if you are married or want to get married, they don't need to know. Because if you are straight, it's not like you go and be like, hey, look, I'm straight. So, you know, that's fine. And you know it's tricky but maybe do tell your friends do tell some people who are close to you so at least you don't feel so alone in it and as for the guy who's asking you out do it go don't worry about you can't be worried about like being caught before you and not enjoy the thing that you are even worried about getting caught for just do what you're doing enjoy yourself first get to really get in touch with your sexuality and then maybe years down the line hopefully you can tell them or hopefully your plan of going abroad works and you can just hide out there and send them Christmas card once a year. But um, it's really hard being gay in Nigeria. I know, I feel so sorry for you, but just have fun with people you like and live your life and 
do your best and try to jack by honestly so they don't give you 14 years. So, sweetie, first of all, <laughs> in the great words of a wise and noble Britney Spears, you better work. If you want money, get a job. It's very simple. You don't want to be here in all of this talking to you. I want to also be rich, but I, I need cash. So here I am to get more money. However, this thing you said about being beautiful, you can also use it. But again, it's work. All this, mm, I'm not sure if they tell me to put on my chest. I will not like it. My dear, it's part of sugar baby work. If you really are about the sugar baby life, then my dear, you cannot have it. If you want to do sugar baby, sugar that baby. They are gonna if they want to pull on your chest, you let them pull on your chest, and you just have to charge accordingly. How much would you not mind making for people on your chest and other such funny things? I mean, girl, if you want the money, any which way is work. Sugar baby too is work, so do it. Or maybe get a job. You know that one too is is better, and nobody will you know, try and do butt stuff with you or pull on you, or it's better. But if you really can't be asked to work, it's just like, you clean it, you clean yourself up and you buy designer bag, it's fine. Any which one, any which way, you have to work, sure. If it's that you have a job already and it's not giving you the lifestyle you want to enjoy, then hustle. Because this is not my only job, this is like my seventh job. There's, you have to do what you have to do. Oh, just get the sugar daddy. I don't know about sleeping with married men, though. I don't approve of that. Surely there's like single sugar daddy. It's like dango out there. You try and avoid married men because they are fine. But if somebody's wife now should pour you acid, you will not be fine again. And then probably won't be able to work. And then you'll really be broke. So I don't know. It's tricky. Just, you know, gotta hustle, B. Hustle either at work or hustle with the sugar daddy. <laughs> And that's all the questions we have for today. If you have any other questions about anything at all, then go ahead and email them to asktamarayellowwall at gmail.com with only one W because one is enough. Or you can go ahead and DM us on the Instagram. And that brings me to the end of the episode. Are you already green? What are some green things you do that I missed that you think are important? Be sure to tell us in the comments or tell us on our social media platforms and make sure you subscribe to Accelerate TV because we have a brand new drama series coming out called Olive on May 7th and it's going to be really good, really, really sweet. And I'm not just saying that because they paid me. It actually looks really sweet. So yeah, my name is Tamara and I'll be back in two weeks with more from The Yellow Wall. Make a team do the matter Still an agent butter with this CPR water But no be me go